Welcome to part 4 on integration by use substitution. Here's the list of formulas we are using and here are the 15 examples that we will complete. In part 4, we'll do example 4. Hmm, wonder which formula it is. Secant squared. No, there's too much garbage in there. Secant tan. Nope, same thing, too much stuff. The only one left might be the power rule. So let's give that a try. Do we see a factor raised to a power? Yes, right away we notice tangent 3x is raised to the fifth power. Can that possibly be our u to the fifth? The only way is to try it out. So let's let u equal the tangent of 3x and find du du is differentiate tangent of anything. We get secant squared of the thing times the derivative of the thing. So we get secant squared 3x times the derivative of 3x, which is 3. Ah, that looks promising, doesn't it? Because there is a secant squared sitting in our integrand. Let's substitute the u's into our integral. Okay, tan 3x is u. Now we see secant squared of 3x dx. And notice that is simply one third of du. Let's save ourselves steps and immediately factor that constant out in front of the integral. Now we can apply the power rule to the integral of u to the fifth du. Add 1 to the power and divide plus c. Substitute the x's back in and there's our answer. Let's check by differentiation. The power rule for differentiation says pull down the power, subtract 1 from the power, then differentiate whatever is raised to the power. In this case, that's tangent of 3x. The 6 goes into the 18. Now let's differentiate tangent 3x. The derivative of tangent anything is secant squared of that thing times the derivative of that thing. The 3's cancel out. Yay, that is the integrand. We did it right. If you've been following this series, you know that I advocate doing these basic problems without actually writing in the U's. So I'll start the problem all over again. Notice it's a good idea to leave a space in front of the integral because we usually end up with a constant factor there. So let's see what we have. Tangent of 3x raised to the fifth power. Is that going to be u to the fifth? Perhaps. Let's try u as tangent of 3x and see whether that works. We want du in that oval. Well, if u is tan 3x, du is secant squared of 3x times 3. And that looks promising. Except now the two sides aren't equal. No problem. Constant factors can be factored in and out of integrals. 
because we multiplied by 3, all we have to do is divide by 3. So let's write one third outside the integral. Now we can see the two sides are equal again. Hmm. Let me get rid of the colors first. Was that cool? Back to work. Okay, this resulting integrand is now exactly u to the fifth du. Apply the power rule for integration. Add 1 to the power and divide plus c. Make it neat and we're done. Was that fun? Of course, math is fun. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.